could soon be illegal to wear masks in public spaces in North Carolina. The Unmasking Mobs and Criminal Act now has passed the North Carolina House and Senate, and it provides some health and work exceptions, but an exception allowing hoods is raising some eyebrows. Queen City News reporter Casey Jones spoke to one of the local sponsors of this bill. And joining us here in the studio, Casey, what have you learned? Well, let's take you back to May of 2020. You'll remember this was the height of the pandemic. North Carolina lawmakers wrote an exemption that allowed people to wear masks in public. But lawmakers I spoke to say this new law will restore pre-COVID laws and stiffen some penalties for protesters who block traffic. It could soon be illegal to wear a mask in public spaces in North Carolina. The Unmasking Mobs and Criminals Act passed the House and Senate with all Republicans voting to advance the legislation. Some protesters in our area and across the nation have been seen wearing masks while protesting Israel's war in Gaza. When you start to hide your identity and you start to, to do that in a way that then, you know, masks uh, no pun intended, but, you know, mask your identity for doing other crimes and, and, and hurting individuals and hurting property and tearing things down. I, I think, you know, we've got to go back to, to prosecuting these folks. Representative David Willis from Union County is one of the nine sponsors of the bill. Other sponsors include lawmakers from Rowan and Gaston counties. The bill allows for certain exemptions, including people who wear a mask for work or to prevent the spread of infectious disease. But an exception allowing people to wear hoods for rituals or initiations is raising eyebrows on whether the legislation is referring to the Ku Klux Klan. That's absurd. I mean, when, when was the last time you saw anybody in the state of North Carolina and the Ku Klux Klan? I mean, let's be real. When, when was the last time you saw somebody, whether it was on news or anywhere else, running around wearing a hood? Dr. Susan Roberts, political science professor at Davidson College, says the language leaves room for interpretation. There are still um, entities such as the Klan that this might apply to or it might be controversial. They've talked about it, many people, in terms of constitutional rights and um, uh, sometimes protecting constitutional rights is controversial and you have to do things that might have implications that are unsavory. The bill passed the House and Senate and now heads to Governor Cooper's desk. In a statement, a spokesman for his office said, the governor has real concerns about this legislation that would prevent medically vulnerable people from protecting their health. Republicans hold the power in the General Assembly, which means they can veto the governor's decision. I fully expect him to veto it. I mean, it's again, it's it's it's, you know, purely political. Uh, he'll veto it and, uh, and we'll come back and override it. The bill also includes new campaign finance rules that, that have become controversial. There's no word on when the governor will veto this bill, but again, Republicans have the power to override it and make it law. Alicia?